Welcome to our lecture online. And now for something a little bit more challenging again. Actually, they're not as challenging as they look initially. It's just you need to know what to do. And that's the key to many of these types of problems, these types of equations when we have absolute value signs. It's just simply, what do I do with these things? And so that's the key to this one right here. What if we have an absolute value sign on both sides of the equal sign? Well, it turns out the technique is about the same as before. We're going to take what's inside the absolute value signs on the left and set it equal to the positive and negative value of what's inside the absolute value sign on the right. Of course, we always need to check to make sure that the answers we get do indeed satisfy the equation. So in this case, we're going to say 2x minus 3 equals the positive of the 2x plus 5, or we can say that 2x minus 3 is equal to the negative of 2x plus 5. And now we we'll solve those two equations and see what we end up with. So again, the idea is that you set what's inside the absolute value sign on the left side equal to the positive and negative values of what's on the right side. But if the right side is inside the absolute value signs, then you need to approach it like this. So let's go ahead and solve it and see what we get. So first of all, this becomes 2x minus 3 is equal to 2x plus 5. We can simply remove the parentheses, then we move all the terms that have an x to one side and everything else to the other side. So here we end up with 2x minus 2x is equal to 5 plus 3, because when we move the negative 3 to the other side becomes a positive 3, and we get 0 equals 8. Of course, we can see that that is not possible, so this does not offer you a solution. Let's take a look and let's see what happens on the right side. Here we end up with 2x minus 3 is equal to, when we distribute the negative on both terms inside the parentheses, we end up with negative 2x minus 5. So now we move all the x's to one side, all the numbers to the other side, so 2x plus 2x, when we move the negative 2x to the left side, we get plus 2x, is equal to minus 5 plus 3. When we move the negative 3 to the other right side, we get a plus 3. So here we end up with 4x is equal to negative 2, divide both sides by 4, and we get x is equal to negative 1 half. At least we have a solution, but do we have the correct solution? The only way to find out is to plug this back in the original equation to see if it satisfies that equation. So let's do a check. So let's let replace x by negative one half. So we have the absolute value of two times negative one half minus three. And the question is, is that equal to two times? We plug in a negative one half over there, and that would then be plus five. All right. So 2 times the negative uh, 1 half, that would be negative 1, negative 3, question mark. Is that equal to 2? That would become a uh, negative 1 plus 5. And finally, is the absolute value of negative 4 equal to the absolute value of 4? And the answer is, of course, that's equal because the absolute value of negative number is its equivalent positive number. So since that's correct, we can say that's correct, and at least we found one solution for that equation, x equals negative one-half. The other one does not pan out, it's not possible, does not have a solution. And that is how it's done.